Hey everyone, so here I have uh, QuickBooks 23 and the problem that I'm having is when I try to output, let's say a report that I run, that I generate, if I try to export it out to go into Excel uh, to create a worksheet and I click on here and I click on create new worksheet, this doesn't work. Now I'm running Excel 2010, so it's an old version of Excel, but, th but this used to work. Uh, before with the with this uh, version of QuickBooks and this version of Excel. Here you can see it's completely dim and if I go to advance this is also completely dim so there's no way to do it. The only option that I have is to create a, a CSV file right and what I'm trying to do is set it up so it sends it to Excel and it opens up in Excel. So I did some research online for the past few hours I've been trying to fix this. Uh, I found a potential solution so let me exit from the app here from QuickBooks, and the fix is a is a regedit fix. So here is the item I'm looking for. So let's launch regedit, <clears throat> and here uh, you can see the path right here. If I go to here to classes root, and then I go to type lib, and I can just press T, and it'll take or T Y, and it'll take me to that option. And then here I got to find this number here, the 20813, which is uh, 20813 right here. All right, so then in here, there's two folders. There's a 1.7 and a 1.9. And the directions is to delete the 1.9. So I can click on it, I can right click on it, and I can say delete. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this? I'm gonna say yes. Now here at this point, I should probably mention you can export this if you want to. Uh, if you want to, you can go in and go to File and Export, and it'll export this option here. But it looks like it's just has this one entry here that's basically blank. So I'm just going to delete it. Uh, of course, if you're not comfortable with regedit at all, um, then it's up to you whether you want to do this or not. Um, so I'm just going to right-click on it. I'm going to say Delete. I'm going to say Yes. Okay, now that's going to be gone. So now let's close this up, and we're going to launch QuickBooks again. And let's see if that fixes our problem. So there it's launching. Let me log in. <clears throat> and we're going to do the same report as before. It should be open, I think. All right, so there it is. Go back here. And now here, uh, let's click on Excel and see what happens. Hit new workbook, new worksheet. And there it goes, there it works. So it took me hours to find that fix, uh, but yeah, it totally worked. So that's awesome. So let's see, let's try it, do an export and let's make sure it launches QuickBook or Excel. And there it opened in the background going to go down here and there it is so super simple fix once you figure out what it is when you go to a quickbooks site they really don't tell you you can't it's hard to find this fix it's not one of the ones on their steps on what to do but here's the path again just basically put this and then then what you do is you delete folder 1.9 all right hope that's helpful to someone out there uh it took me i don't know six eight hours to figure this off and on um, but that's a solution hope it's helpful for someone out there like and subscribe if you like this content and we'll catch you in the next one thanks a lot bye